If Black Tie Attire was a fountain pen, it would be the 1911 L. Behold, the nib that launched a thousand ships. I mean, it is a sailor after all. Here are things so you don't have to. In accordance with an ongoing intent to catalog every possible thing in the universe, please enjoy this elegant Sailor 1911L fountain pen. The L stands for large, but only when compared with pocket pens and the Sailor 1911S, whose S does not stand for small, but standard. Kinda like how when soda pop sizes start with the medium and go up from there. Here we have the quintessential black and gold pen design. A black resin plastic body with tapered rounded ends and gold bladed trim. On the cap band are the words Founded 1911 Sailor Japan Founded Night. Oh, it's gone around again. It's a classic look for the ages, as modern as it is old fashioned. Proponents will call it timeless. Detractors will call it featureless. Neutral parties will ask, Hey, is that a Mont Blanc? They always overemphasize the Frenchness for some reason. In truth, there are a good many number of fountain pens that follow suit in similar aesthetic fashion. So, what about the 1911L sets it apart? For my money, the heart and soul of any sailor-made pen is in its writing experience. While the 1911L may be without a unique or flashy body, it remains a stolid, work-appropriate vessel for one outstanding 21-karat gold nib. Sailor gold nibs offer a remarkable tactile feedback on the page, that is both impossible to convey through the medium of video and foolhardy to even attempt. So I will leave it at this. The sensation, as best as I can describe it, is vwippy. Yeah, vwippy. Corduroy on corduroy. A canine tooth across velveteen rabbit. An unsharpened 3B pencil nubbin sketching a tasteful nude buttock. The feeling is incredibly divisive amongst users, as most unique things tend to be. In short, one chooses the Sailor 1911L for a distinct nib feel. The bonus is that it costs less than its competitors, and looks like a fountain pen typified. At the time of recording, the market price for one Sailor 1911L fountain pen was 233 hours of niggling first world guilt, or in more fiscally explicit terms, seven and a half cows dowry. The cap of the 1911L unscrews in two rotations and can post securely whilst writing if you're into that sort of thing. With barrel unscrewed, the Sailor 1911L accepts a proprietary cartridge converter filling system or disposable ink cartridges for slightly higher capacity. It is 22 grams, 5.5 inches capped, 17 grams, 4.8 inches uncapped and ready to write. Fitted with a black plastic feeder, the ink flow is, more or less, a dog's nose, wet and healthy. The nib is a gorgeous monotone gold with typical sailor filigree meant to invoke nautical trappings of, I guess, seaweed and kelp. Also present is imprinted the eponymous numbers 1911, a clever nod to the exact elevation in feet of the year that the Sailor Pen Company was founded. Then there is an anchor for some reason, which, for the youths in the room, 
is kind of like a boat stopping device as well as a deadly weapon against sharks and enemy frogmen if you've got good enough aim. Because of its stately, understated appearance, I would say the Sailor 1911L is best suited for pretty much anywhere. It excels though in situations that call for a not insignificant amount of class. Signing important documents, composing soulful poetry, clipping it to your tuxedo or cocktail dress in highly conspicuous fashion. All great ways to show off just how highfalutin you are. Plus, because it fairly emanates a sort of somber threnody dirge, using it to notarize your last will and testament could give it that extra oomph you've been looking for. This is a pen devoid of ambiguity, like an overripe torpedo or a gilded cigar. It is a sleek, compact, and succinct writing tool that is light on its feet and exceptional in its performance. The Sailor 1911L holds a special place in my heart, as it was the first fountain pen with a gold nib that I ever purchased. And while it may not be the only pen I use these days, it is always inked up and used on at least a weekly basis. To my mind, the 1911L epitomizes the ideal of a fancy fountain pen. It is a drip with purpose, a little bit of wet with bells and whistles on. And in the end, isn't that what we're all looking for? I mean, apart from true love and all that. As my grandmother always used to say once, you may not have the best handwriting or be able to spell quite right or even have the correct number of digits with which to grip a scribbly stick, but that doesn't mean you can't show off in style. Then she would give me seven cents for an iced cream and pat me on the head, and I never had the heart to tell her dairy prices had increased since her childhood. What I'm really trying to say, I suppose, is that I've had a lot of regrets in my life, but that wasn't one of them. Nor was getting a Sailor 1911L. Those were things so you don't have to 